Whippin uses its commonly found in WWE gimmick matches such as no DQ matches and last man standing encounters. However, from time to time, the weapon of choice malfunctions, meaning the weapon doesn't work as initially intended. One of the most common weapons to malfunction are WWE tables. WWE tables are made to be as thin as possible, meaning that when wrestlers go through them, a clean and safe break ensues. But in 2007, on an episode of SmackDown, a contract signing took place between world champion Booker T and Batista. During the closing moments of the contract signing, Batista attempted to hit a spine buster on Booker through the table when Booker chaotically bounced off it. Batista then performed the move again and this time the table thankfully broke. In 2010, the women in WWE made history when Lay Cool, Beth Phoenix and Natalya competed in the first ever women's table match at the TLC pay-per-view. The match excelled all expectations, yet it did feature a notable weapon botch. The botch of the match involved Natalya pushing Layla and Michelle McCool from the top rope onto the table. Sadly, the table didn't break, so Layla and McCool were awkwardly lying there. In an act of total professionalism, Natalya acted quickly and executed a top rope splash onto both women finally breaking the table in half. Similarly, WWE announced tables are often rigged to break easily, yet this doesn't always happen as smoothly as WWE and their talent would like. During the final moments of the match between DX and Rated RKO at 2007's New Year's Revolution, Triple H went to deliver a pedigree on Edge on the top of the announce table. Sadly, the table didn't break, meaning Edge got a brutal and painful landing. JR covered this up well on commentary during the match with a fantastic line of It's not just tables that malfunction in WWE, as even prop sledgehammers have caused problems in the past. When the legendary Triple H introduced a sledgehammer as his weapon of choice on WWE TV in 1999, it was a fake sledgehammer that was used. This fake hammer would contain a rubber head attached to a wooden base. This would be on occasion be switched out if the game had to legitimately break something, for instance, a casket or a door. At WrestleMania 17, during the match between Triple H and the Deadman, there was a spot where Triple H hit Undertaker with a sledgehammer as the game was going up for the last ride. Sadly, the hammer broke, which forced Undertaker to suffer a deep laceration. From that point onwards, Triple H began to use a genuine sledgehammer in all of his matches. The weapon is made somewhat safe thanks to Triple H covering up the dangerous part of the weapon when striking his opponent. Arguably the most infamous weapon malfunction in WWE history took place in 2001 when WWE incorporated glass into a match between Kurt Angle and Shane McMahon. In the match between Angle and McMahon at the King of the Ring, Angle would suplex Shane through panels of glass but sadly it wasn't sugar glass that McMahon was falling through. In a huge and dangerous blunder, it was plexiglass. McMahon was hurt badly following the incident and needed over 50 stitches, and the major mishap made Vince McMahon so unbelievably angry that he almost called the match off. Well, there you have it folks, the biggest weapon fails in WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.